fragrances for men I still love in 2022. Last time I've talked about the fragrance that girls in general women uh, are actually loving on men this time is my little list the five fragrance i experienced on men experience <laughs> let's put ourselves in the mood for sexy time yeah it's not really great like uh, when it's daytime look i can do this Um, still rubbish. Okay. okay, my number five is Alfetti and it's Penaligans. I always loved it on men because it's got that British charm with, you know, like something a bit more gentlemanish, like a bit like green, uh, slightly, you know, that's pine, uh, but also like something that is characteristic for uh, bewitching ambery fragrance. And I think the, the balance between those two contrasts is beautiful. So it's like gentleman, but more modern and more, um, captivating and very sensual. And also, let's not forget that, um, Penaligan's fragrance, most of them, for some reason, especially the more modern one, they have a trail that, uh, projection that is really big, actually. Very characteristic from the DNA of Penaligan's. Once you enter in a Penaligan's boutique, you will recognize that smell. It's a very uh, luxurious smell because it's not like once you smell it once, you smell all of it. It kind of develops change on the skin and everything. And for me, uh, Alfetti, you definitely need to try. You've got a few versions of it nowadays. You've got a uh, leather and the cedar like personally really enjoy the cedar one leather it w i was not too keen but i'm not usually the biggest fan of on leathery fragrance and i prefer the classic still but the cedar one is really good too my number four is tobacco nuit from atelier cologne so uh, i recommend you that if you want this fragrance hurry up because i think it's discontinued i remember smelling it on the mountain and it was just like really sexy because it's really dark it's it's very classy it doesn't give too much it's not too sweet it's really that tobacco smell dry and really really dark and it's very opulent really strong you don't need to spray a lot with this fragrance it's at the same time poetic and at the same time you want to undress the man <laughs> voilà and let's face it like women love a bit of a bad boy but it also have for me uh, this edgy hipster kind of vibe you know my number three is grand soir maison francis Gardian. i've talked about this fragrance way too much and i think it's been hyped a lot too it's one of the best ambery fragrance i've ever smelled um some people would be like yeah it's too simple blah 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 but yes but that's exactly why i love it so much it's a bit like a chanel fragrance chanel fragrances are very simple but they don't to perfection it's a perfect balance ah, that's what i love grace grand soir you've got a pure amber but at the same time there's a slightly uh, light there's a light in 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 the fragrance and usually i'm very fragrant so really really heavy you know it's this effortless chic sensual vibe that is really characteristic from um French men uh, or Parisian, you know, like they, they don't give up too much. It's a very effortless style. Like if I, of course, it's a big generality, but in general, it's not overpowering and it's got something a tiny masculine in the fragrance. So when I say masculine, a uh, big word, huh? uh, but uh, it's it's more like th there's something slightly um, a bit like in Penaligans, you know, like you can smell this. Uh, a slightly accord a bit pine maybe like slightly green a touch really it's a touch uh, especially for something like a dinner absolutely perfect you can definitely wear your tuxedo with this and it will be gorgeous oh there's one fragrance i forgot to talk about ysl tuxedo i really love that too but i didn't include it but i really love it too um, my number two, Terre d'Hermès by Hermès. Some people be like, oh, Clevos, you have luxury taste. Uh, the fragrance you love the most on men are really expensive. Well, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, when you tried a lot of fragrance like me, uh, you appreciate a little bit of more, not effort, but, uh, yeah, I thought. <laughs> um, but uh, I love my design of fragrance on men. There's many that I like. Dior Rome, Valentino Yomo, blah, blah, blah. But there's one fragrance I particularly love on men. And it's Terre d'Hermès. I don't think a lot of women would be put that in the sexiest list. First of all, it's very versatile. So you can wear it uh, a lot. Day, night, uh, when you go to the gym, when you go to the uh, picnic in the park. You can, you can wear it 
a lot. This again perfect balance from Jean-Claude Elena. I think it's a masterpiece to me when you have this bitter orange balanced out with spiciness of the black pepper and then a dry down that is vetiver like, smoky, grassy. It's absolutely perfect. It's fresh, invigorating, but at the same time, there's some character with the pepper. And that's why I really like it. I also feel that whenever I smell this fragrance on someone else, even on me when I wear it, it gives me that extremely elegant vibe. Casual, but it's very chic. Effortless style, uh, chic, cool. It's really something that you smell uh, compared to a lot of uh, new fragrances and stuff like the freshness and the spiciness of this real fragrance really project around you and i'm capable to smell a terdermes from very far away I actually filmed it on the vlog last time um, one of my friends was wearing it in the car and i was just like why are you wearing terdermes and he was like how do you know and i was like i love this fragrance and uh, instantly i was like oh uh, well he's my friend so no ooh. but once again my brain was like ooh. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's amazing. Number one favorite is still unchanged since I've launched this channel. So uh, it shows a lot uh, how much I love this fragrance and it's Floris Honeywood. Some people, when they try it, uh, they're like, oh, it's a bit simple. It's not really rich and really dark. It's because it's Floris. Uh, the house of gentlemen or ladylike fragrance is very elegant. It's slightly royal to me. So for me, a fragrance that is extremely elegant can't be a bismoid. Like it's, it's not really classy to project that much. Let's face it. I do love my bismoid, but it's not super elegant to like smell from super far away. You need something in, in between perfectly balanced. I love both, but I'm just saying that for me, it's not super elegant to shout. It's the same in behavior, you know, like if you're shouting everywhere, you, it's not very classy, you know, let's face it. Honeywood really reflects that. Uh, first of all, I love a hood fragrance and this, this hood is not animalic. It's really there as a backbone to give a bit of structure and a bit of darkness, which is nice. And the honey, honey is not not sticky and most of the honey that I smell and I do like a sticky honey but this one is not sticky at all it's there like to give that uh, sexiness really like this, this resinous tone to the fragrance it's beautiful it's sensual sexy but definitely uh, not overpowering and i absolutely love that so you can't really hate it it's impossible what's your favorite fragrance on a man like uh, probably the most asked question on my channel honeywood florist let's go uh, because i'm i'm also uh, quite confident that you're gonna smell this fragrance and you're definitely not gonna hate it i went on a on a masterclass last time with them and they were saying that this was a limited edition at the uh, that was asked by harrods uh, which was i think really interesting because definitely i was not expecting some kind of a wood fragrance in florist it's it, for me it was not really the style uh, but when i heard that it was a harrods um request i was like ah makes sense and i'm i'm so glad that it's permanent now um it's definitely if you don't know the house of florist you want to get to know of course you've got the classic like number 89 but pff, uh only hood you won't be disappointed um, i would definitely love someone to wear one of those or to surprise me with anything to be honest but to be fair i don't i don't really care that much i do that video for you because i'm, I'm not looking for, for a boyfriend so <laughs> So whatever, huh, you know, but uh, but if if uh, maybe one future friend is watching this video, now you know. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I hope you enjoy. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. It's always a pleasure to welcome some new people. Uh, like this video because it boosts the video up. So uh, put a little thumb up for me. There you go. For, for those who want to support the channel more, it's always really appreciated. There's my YouTube account in the description box. You click on the link, you give me a little coffee or a little tea or, or something, and uh, that will that will uh, that will help me. Uh, so thank you so much and have a lovely day. See you soon.